and we have been through the family. Now we are going to the friends and associates. Hey everybody, please uh, hit the like, thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. It's the D. Louise book series, Christina. I just read books and talk about books. I have no special effects, nothing like that. So I really need your support. Spread the word. Th give this video a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job. I don't have special effects like everybody else. I'm not that computer talented. I would really appreciate the thumbs up. So, um... We've talked about the family books, A Quick Bite, which was uh, Lusanna's and Dr. Gregory Hewitt's. And we talked about Love Bites, which was Etna's and Rachel's. And we talked about Single White Vampire. Single White Vampire. Rose, anyone? Cold Dark and Hungry, which was uh, Bastion and Terry's, and A Bite to Remember, which was Jackie's and uh, Vincent's, which was the key book to start the next part of the series, and then A Bite Me If You Can, which was Lucian's and Lee's. And then Accidental Vampire, uh, LV and Victor's. Are your eyes rolling in your head still? Vampires of Forever, which was uh, Inez and Thomas's. And we finished with Vampire Interrupted, which was Marguerite's and Julius. Now we've moved on, and we will get to Tomas's and those later. But right now, we're up to Rogue Vampire Hunter by Lindsay Sands. And we're now doing the friends and family. So uh, this is Mortimer's book. And they, uh, Justin, Garrett, and Decker have been sent to the cabin in the woods that Decker owns by uh, Lucian because there's a rogue vampire uh, t taking humans, so they're going up to investigate. And when they get up there, they find that the neighborhood cabin is occupied by three sisters, Joe, Sam, and Alec. And I want to know if you ro your eyes are rolling in the back of your head when they tell the girls that they're a rock band. And you're like, Jesus, God, oh. It <laughs> just crack you up. Rolls your eyes in the back of your head. And then Sam's boss calls her and gives her and Decker, um, her and Mortimer a chance to go off alone to investigate. Um, his goddaughter's disappearance. She eventually does show up, very spoiled brat, and she could have ruined uh, Sam's career totally, but Mortimer fixed all that. But uh, the real question is, will she accept Mortimer as a vampire? Will she accept that him and his pals are enforcers and that they're rogue vampire hunters? Will she accept him as her life mate? You'll have to read the book to find out. It's good. It's an enjoyable, quick read. I like it a lot. It's one of my favorites. It's one of the ones I remember the most. About them being in the cabin and the generator being broken in the whole nine yards. But please check it out. And as we start the new... Uh, Fa uh, friends of family and cousins and associates of the Argino part of the series. Please check it out. Please hit the like and subscribe. Let me know I'm doing a good job. Thank you.